Welcome to Fairytown Studios. This isn't my normal thing. Normally it's recording studio stuff and DIY projects. Um, however, I've had a home gym for over 20 years, so I'm just going to give you some tips on what I've been doing at the moment. I've been looking at trying to get a, a pull down thing, so a high low pulley station, so I can, well, I've already got something that pulls down. I've been looking on the internet due to coronavirus. I can't get equipment anywhere, so I've had to build something. I've already got a pulley station I've got off Amazon about five years ago, almost to the day, which uh, you just put weight plates on, and it's got two pulley wheels, and you can attach any attachment to it and pull down. That's great for the triceps and all sorts of stuff, some shoulders and back. But I wanted um, a pulley thing where I could pull it out so horizontally towards me, and the solution I came to was using some lengths of timber and a pulley. I also used parts of the other pulley station so that the weights plates can sit on it. But in fairness, you could just chuck a chain through the hole in the middle of a weights plate. It's just gonna hold it, who cares? So what you're gonna need to do is grab some lengths of timber and uh, make sure your ceiling's strong enough because if you've got a lot of weight pulling on that ceiling, uh, you know, it can't just be in plasterboard or it's just gonna fall apart. So mine's attached to the five by two joists of my shared roof and it's spread across three of those. Uh, so that's definitely going to hold it and it's also attached to the wall so the wall doesn't flex so I've created a bracket that holds a wheel and the pulley wheel you can get them off Amazon for about 15 quid um, I'll put a link in the description mine was, a, mine was about 15 pounds I think it's about 14 now and I've got two big L brackets they're sort of four inch uh, so 100 millimeter per sort of 100 millimeter square per bit that's bent so it's like a 200 by 100 millimeter piece of metal bent at a right angle and I've put a 10 mil bolt through the middle of that through the middle of that pulley wheel so that when that weight plate comes up you know it's not going to budge anywhere so here's my video of how I made my pulley station I, I, it, I don't have a pulley for lifting from the ground up because I'm a bit like well if you want to do that there's gravity so it's just for pulling weights downwards so the pressure so the re resistance is going upwards and horizontally hope it helps please leave a comment and uh yeah it's not my normal thing so all my existing subscribers don't panic i'm not going off on a tangent or anything just uh trying to help some people out thanks for watching <laughs>